I started getting into fitness and exercise in the last two years. I was lacking strength and I realized I needed to change something to be able to look after myself in my current condition. The key sort of areas for me were to lose a little bit of weight, get a little bit lighter, get a little bit stronger, because in my condition as I get older, it's going to get more and more difficult for me to be mobile. So I need to do the th all I can to be in a position where I am giving myself the best opportunity to be able to do everything I want to do going forward. My name is Sam Jetwa. I broke my back uh, in 1994, so that's 25 years ago, at the T10 level. I had a spinal cord injury in a car accident when I was 15. And so it meant that I lost the use of my legs. So I'm paralyzed from the waist down and confined to a wheelchair. So I have full use of my upper limbs, but I have no use of my lower limbs. So everything I do is with my basically my, my two hands. So it's what it is. Pulling myself up, you know, getting on the floor, getting off the floor, getting into the shower, off the, you know, in, into bed, out of bed, into the car, out of the car, getting dressed is all completely different to what your average normal sort of person does. What makes me get off my rear end and come into the gym is at the end of our, our day's work, it really helps me decompress. It helps me feel better, have more energy, I sleep better. It's the place where you don't have to think about anything apart from what you're doing in that moment, so you can, your mind is clear about what you're doing just at the end. And it helps you push you to do something else in life. He's very independent, and that's what's amazing with him. <laughs> Uh, so the first time I walked out with him, I saw him coming off the seat, coming up without me helping him. I only help hold the wheelchair when he has movements where he might flip back. So he, he like, there's a lot to learn and I continually learn from him. It's just an amazing person. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So. Mm -hmm. Wilson's been instrumental in terms of, ever since CrossFit started, he's been at me to come and, and get more involved with CrossFit and join. I've always found CrossFit a little bit more difficult in terms of just going to the regular gym, because I can go to the regular gym and just do what I want to do on that day and sort of work on specific muscle groups necessarily. And I've always sort of looked at the wad and kind of figured, I had legs or they're doing this, it doesn't really work with my routine, I'll mess up everybody else in the gym. And I really require the, you know, the personal attention of a trainer. But Wilson's always been very good and said, like, come, I'll personalize for you, we'll work on this, we'll do that, we'll do that. I've had a, quite a few people come up and say to me, it's like, wow, I can't believe you're doing this, and you know, you're, you know, you know, there's so many other people who can't do this, and you do this, and you do it. I don't really think about it that way. I, don't, I just sort of get on with it and do it for myself. But if I can help somebody along the way get, get into the gym, or just mentally see somebody sees me doing something and thinks, okay, well, you know, it might not be gym related, physical. It might just be, okay, my mindset is that if that guy can do it, I can do it. So it's, yeah, it's rewarding if I can do that to somebody. I do get annoyed at people that I see who are, they kind of take advantage of the fact that they, they may be in a wheelchair or they, they kind of play along the fine lines of, oh, I need some help when they don't really need the help. This molly coddling, cotton wooling people who have disabilities, it's not doing them any good. You should be harder on them, if anything, get out there, do it, try it. You only know what you can do until you fail. So you've got to try, and if you don't try, then you'll never know. So I started uh, rallying in 2003. It's always been my lifelong dream, was, was a sort of really small watching this fire rally. And since then, I've been in and out of rallying for a long time. But now this year, I bought myself a Dakar style off-road racing car. And the dream is to go and try and do the Dakar rally one day. 
and in so doing be maybe the first Kenyan to ever go and do the Dakar Rally. Definitely be the first uh, person with, as I, I, I call it, physically challenged person from East Africa at least, maybe Africa to go and try and attempt to do the Dakar Rally. So it's a five-year plan at the end of the day. Uh, I'd like to try and be there by 2023. And uh, currently I'm doing the Kenya National Rally Raid Championship, uh, which is four, four rounds this year. We've already done one in Naivasha and we've got four more coming up. So yeah, I'd like to do more rallying and try and go to do the Dakar Rally. That's the dream. I want to use it as a vehicle to show anybody out there that anything is possible. And if you can manufacture that to help people along the way, then fantastic. That's what I'd really like.